Since 1792, when it was first mended, we used the small copper-plated zinc coin called the penny. And as most of you know, the penny is the lowest piece of currency we have in the United States at one cent. And now what if I told you that the penny doesn't even cover the cost of producing itself? This, along with environmental concerns and the phasing out of physical money in today's society, is why I'm proposing that we discontinue and retire the penny. The penny has been a part of our currency for over 200 years, and its worth over that time span has only decreased. The penny itself cost the U.S. almost double the cost of what the coin is worth, at roughly 2.1 cents. And from the New York Times, we learned that in 2021, we, the U.S. Mint produced 7.6 billion pennies, which cost taxpayers $145.8 million. Producing pennies has just become a time and a money-wasting endeavor. Even former U.S. Mint Director Philip Deal has said that the value of the penny has shrunk to the point that if you earn more than minimum wage, you're losing money stopping and picking up a penny on the sidewalk. If you were to, now, if you were to pick, have picked up a penny while walking over a century ago, then it may have benefited you then. As in 1913, the penny was equal to almost 28 cents today. But with the growth of our nation's economy and inflation over the years, the value of the penny compared to today's prices make it virtually worthless on its own. And now the intrinsic value of the penny isn't the only issue with their production, but also the environmental issues that their production brings along. Now, the penny isn't simply made out of copper. As in 1943, the U.S. needed copper for the war efforts, and so they decided that they would primarily make the penny out of zinc with a small outer coating of copper. It's actually not, roughly 97% zinc and only 3% copper. Now, the mining of zinc produces a lot of environmental concerns with the processes to refine it taking heavy tolls in the environment. And during these processes, zinc can seep into the soil, air, water, and water, leading to health concerns for all living things nearby, including humans. Being exposed to zinc from these industrial processes can lead to many different health issues and symptoms. An example of one of these issues is metal fume fever, which is where one has flu-like symptoms of nausea, headache, aches, and or possibly chills. Now, even with these financial and environmental problems with the pennies, we still produce billions of them. Now, other nations, such as Canada, have already stopped producing their pennies, as they did in 2012. And with the current push towards cashless transactions, it's time for the U.S. to follow. And in 2022, only 19% of all transactions were paid in cash, and debit cards were actually found to be the most dominant at 28%. And since then, we've seen only a larger amount of people going cashless, using their debit and credit cards. And with the emergence of apps such as Apple Pay, it's just become much easier to pay without cash. And now one concern some people may have with removing the penny is that it may lead stores <coughs> to round up their prices from 99 cents or whatever it is up to the whole dollar. However, studies conducted by economic experts such as Raymond E. Lombra and Robert Waples have shown to disprove this, saying that the, the um, amount of items that would be um, routed down offsets that and that virtually no change will occur in the economy. And eliminating the penny will also work to lessen time people spend at the cash registers and waiting in lines. With a large number of people already leaving their change behind if it's a few pennies, this is eliminate the extra fumbling of having to grab those extra few extra pennies. It can also save close to 12 minutes every year. Now, despite all these financial, environmental, and societal issues with producing the penny, many people still want to hold on to the sentimental value of it, as well along with its history. People can still collect and love the penny, even if we stop producing it. It can still circulate around and pass from one person to another, but all we would need but we would stop producing it and stop wasting money, resources, and time for a coin that's well past its prime. In my opinion, it's about time for us to throw a retirement party for the penny. Thank you.